everyone. Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. We're going to be doing another definite integral problem. This one is the integral of x to the fourth minus 4x cubed dx. And we're going to be evaluating on the range 0 to 4. So the first thing we want to do with definite integral problems, really simple, um, basically two steps. The first is to take the integral of the function here. The second is to evaluate on the range 0 to 4. So like I said, first step, take the integral. Um, as always, the first thing we do is add 1 to the exponent. So 4 plus 1 is 5. And then we divide the coefficient, which is an implied 1 here, by the new exponent, which is 5. So 1 over 5. And then um, we, again, add 1 to the exponent. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then we divide the coefficient, 4, by the new exponent, also 4. So that's going to cancel and be 1. So here is our, um, our integral. Let's go ahead and simplify this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it as x to the 5 over 5 minus x to the 4. So um, now we need to evaluate on the range 4 or 0 to 4. Um, so here's my, here's my range, um, and what we're going to do is first plug in the top number, 4. So we'll have um, 4 to the 5 over 5 minus 4 to the 4. So you see I plugged in 4 um, everywhere where I had an x in this function, and then we always um, write a minus sign and then go ahead and plug in the bottom number in the same spot. So we have 0 over 5, or 0 to the 5th over 5, minus 0 to the 4. So that's how we evaluate. And now all we need to do is um, go ahead and use a calculator to simplify this. So 4 to the 5 is um, 1024, so 1024 over 5 minus 4 to the 4, which is 256. And then this is going to be 0, and this is going to be 0 as well. So this whole thing cancels. Um, and so now what I'm just going to do is, uh, is change this to be um, over 5. And I just multiply 256 times 5. I get 1280. So um, I wanted to put this over 5 so that we could... Um, have a common denominator here and I could combine these fractions. So I multiplied 256 by 5 such that 1280 over 5 is the same thing as 256. So now I'm going to do 1024 minus 1280 which is negative 256. So my final answer is negative 256 over 5 or um, if you want to convert it to decimal, which I wouldn't recommend because I think fractions are cleaner, but the decimal would be negative uh, 51.2. So either of those work, and uh, that's your final answer. Thanks, guys. See you next time.